Hey folks, Vic here, and I'm going to show you four more Forex scalp trades uh, for a, that's set up today, which is August the 10th, 2021, that's set up for a reward risk of 7.5 to 1 altogether when you add them all together. I actually only had three trades recorded at first, but then I noticed that there was another trade on the British Pound US dollar pair that set up while I was getting while I was getting set up for an interview with one of our stage four traders. And that trade on the British pound US dollar ended up being about a three to one reward risk as well. So total trade returns today for about seven and a half to one unscaled. Okay, that's pretty good. If you scale out, the results wouldn't be as high, right? So this comes down to each person's preference for trade management. I hope you're enjoying these, uh, these scalping videos that I've been sending along to you. I've been posting them a little more frequently just for the purposes of continued repetition, right? So you can see that these trades do in fact occur frequently and that, you know, win, lose or draw, what we do provides a nice edge, i.e. A, a high odds trading approach. Ultimately, we'd love to have you join us and hopefully these videos start to build a, a bit of belief and confidence for you. If you like these videos, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. That'd be just awesome. And be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe link in the bottom right corner of the video. Okay, here are the trades. Hey folks, uh, Vic here. I'm going to run through a couple of scalp trades that set up on, uh, what is it today? Tuesday, August the 10th, 2021. And uh, these are just using the patterns that we use, whether you're trading our, our scalp service or in our... Um, uh, the CC, uh, the, the long-term service that Darker runs, which is mostly swing trading. It might be a bit of position trading, but mostly swing trading. So the patterns are the same. The setups are the same. We use higher time frames uh, for our support resistance levels. And then we look for patterns at those levels. And so it's uh, just learning to develop that skill in uh, in finding these. We provide, you know, Darker provides a pre-market analysis every single day for his traders. I provide a video on the scalp levels that we're looking to trade at every day and they're usually pretty effective so not always I mean there's losses here and there but uh, uh, they're always controllable and we don't we don't put on a lot of risk on these trades so here it is on the Australia US dollar pair there's actually a couple of trades here and um, um, this is exactly what I showed in my scalp video yesterday I showed that we were at support right this pair is in a big downtrend it rallies up it hits this level of right here this is a level of of a very good significant neckline because of how strong price moved away from it so we just keep an eye on that and sure enough look what it did price rejected from that level came down and we hit this level a uh, pretty obvious level right here so what do we do when it gets here well we then drop down to our um our uh, four hour charts and we look at our so we want to watch them and we want to watch our entry time frame and on our four hour chart uh this thing was 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 dropping below here. You see it dropped down, it closed down below here. And on our, uh, and keep in mind, this is in a downtrend now, right? On, on the, uh, the daily charts heading down and so is the four hour chart, lower highs and lower lows. And so um, uh, one of our members took this trade and it was a good trade as it dropped below here. This was a, a good swing break and a set and forget short. He sold it right in here. And uh, this trade uh, initially went against him closed against him twice we have protocols for this too by the way that can reduce your risk a lot and and then it came down a little bit and then went up and stopped them out so this could have been a reduced loss again it depends on your trade management um, and I do provide protocols for how to manage a trade to really minimize uh, the, the the losing trades if possible then what, is that, what does it do it continues to go up the four hour chart uh, goes up quite strongly we break above this swing. We actually broke above this swing. We actually, uh, I think, just tied this swing, but, but nice swing breaks. This is a big rotation from going below here and closing and coming above here and closing above this high, and it pulls back. This is a really good trade setup and a possible a possible uh, end to the move down. We'll see. Nothing, uh, who knows? Price will tell us. He gets in here, and this trade made it all the way. Why do I have this red line marked here? If we go back to the four hour chart, when, don't forget that we're scalping. This isn't long term trading. This is a really good level on the four hour chart because price came down. It rallied up, hung around here. Look at all the resistance in here and then dropped away quickly. That's a good place to take profit when you're scalping. Okay, nothing that that trade, this trade on the uh, Aussie US dollar uh, ended up being a, a 2.6 to 1 reward risk. Buying it at the daily level, 
selling it as it came into the London close, by the way, which is another reason to think about maybe uh, taking a trade off. It was just before the London close, but that's fine. Uh, a very nice little profit, especially when you're trading counter trend like this, okay? The losing trade earlier, we don't risk, well, we always tell our traders anyway, we suggest don't risk more than 0.5% of your account. So obviously this next trade way more than made up for that little loss in here, okay? On the Aussie yen pair, another one of our members did this. She, uh, she was watching the levels that I posted. So here we go. Uh, we have a, um, a level. This level was marked right here because of the fact that price rallied a little bit and then fell away very quickly and went below these lows here and lower highs, lower lows. You know, it, the thing about these levels is that we don't know what price is going to do when it gets there. That's why we have a pattern, right? That's why we want to see a pattern set up. So let's go down to our... Um, our four hour chart. So um, what happened here is that it came off of this this uh, lower level here and rallied up hard and poked above here and then it went quite a ways above here. And if we go down to our 15 minute chart, what it did is it when it, like I say, it rallied up on the four hour chart, chopped around on the line here. There's nothing to do in here. And then it does this, it takes off and we have this nice swing break here. This comes back down for a retest of our daily level and here's the move up. That was pretty good. And she got a nice move out of this one here. That trade on the Aussie, uh, Aussie yen pair was a 2.4 to 1 reward risk. Remember the, the prior Aussie US was a 2.6 to 1. And we had that loss in there. If you add those all up, you know, at the end of the day, it's a two, it's a four and a half to 1 profit uh, on just a few of those little scalp trades. So I hope you can see the, um, you know, the, 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 the power in, in taking these trades. If, if this is the kind of a trade that, that is appealing to you, sometimes there's some, you know, you may not be able to do it due to a job or other commitments or something else going on that, or you, or you simply don't like the short term trading, that's fine. But we have a very, very structured approach to it. And um, to make it as objective as possible, I just did an interview with uh, one of our uh, stage four traders. I'll put a link to it in the, uh, in the text below this, uh, this video. But uh, this guy trades uh, just like this. He's got his own way of trading these scalp setups, he does very, very well. He's a consistently profitable trader. That's what we call our stage four traders. And um, this is an odds game. I mean, you're, you're, these aren't all gonna win. Uh, you just saw that one in the Aussie US dollar pair. It, it was a losing trade. No big deal. Uh, you gotta keep taking these trades and let the odds play out. And uh, when you get these uh, bigger reward risk trades, you're off to the races, all right? So, you know, maybe the time is right for you to, um, to try out this kind of trading. I always tell people that, you know, I, I get it that you don't want to make a longer term commitment, even though it does take more than a month to learn this stuff. You know, that you got to, you got to, you know, approach this thing with the right attitude and the right mindset and the right expectations. But uh, so you want to be at this longer and we have a really uh, good offer for that. But even if someone joins for a month, um, we can upgrade later and, and credit that monthly payment towards a, um, towards a yearly subscription. But you know, uh, it, this is just something that you're going to have to look at and decide if it's if it's the way that you want to be trading. And if not, this kind of short-term trading isn't for you. Um, obviously, you're going to want to go to something longer term, which is exactly what Darko does with his swing trading service. Okay, so anyway, I hope that those uh, little trade examples were helpful. Any feedback, just let me know. Uh, Vic Noble at ForexMentor.com. That's V-I-C-N-O-B-L-E at ForexMentor.com. Thanks so, uh, for listening. Take care. Hey folks, Vic here again. I, I actually uh, missed one of the trades and I was re I was doing a, a recording with one of our stage four traders and actually there's a link to that interview that I did in the uh, text below this, uh, th this this video. But when I was doing that video, uh, the, re the interview, uh, there was a setup on the British pound US dollar pair and here it is. I mean, the, this pair is coming off of these this, this resistance level here and you see what it did yesterday, how it closed below this level here this is a level that we, we're watching because it had a really hard drop away from it so it's a significant level and when you go down to the um uh the four hour chart you can see that um this is what happened this is when it came the price came down closed below here and it rallied back up to it now I, i've got this red line mark because this is a four hour level of expected support because it used to be resistance and it broke it and it's the first time back expected support 
And I want you to show, I want to show you on the 15 minute chart, whoops, what we do here is, so when price broke below everything and came back, now we're looking to see, hey, is there a pattern? Is there a reason to sell this? Well, nothing happened. We just chopped up and down here for a while. And then this happened. This, this big, strong, hard move took out all these lows, lots of damage. This is a sell back to here. That's a swing break sell. And uh, that it never got stopped out. It needed an 11 pip risk, right? Really small and made it all the way down. This is that four hour level I showed you. And the reason I like this a lot for taking profit, and I know it's all hindsight now, but logically, this is the London close. Usually price doesn't do much after the London close. It's a very logical place to take a profit. Okay, I always encourage, look, if you get, if you, if we're scalping. I mean, if you get, if you're hitting support, um, key levels of support resistance on, a higher time frames four hour or daily of course uh, those are places to take profits and uh, this was a 11 pip risk and had about a 30 pip gain almost a three to one reward risk so pretty sweet anyway just wanted to do, uh, throw that one in there too just to give you another example of, of how these trades set up thanks so there you go i uh, hope that was helpful and listen as a cc starter member i truly hope that you're getting some value out of these videos and starting to see how frequently these short-term trades uh, set up and how they can produce some very, very nice reward risk trades. And of course, if short-term trading doesn't work for you, then Darko has a very, very good uh, swing trading service that you should check out. Okay, so, and there's a link to all that in the, in the text below this video or in the email that you received. Thanks again for listening in, really appreciate it. And as always, let me know if you have any questions, send me an email, you can send it to Vic Noble, V-I-C-N-O-B-L-E at forexmender.com and I'd be happy to get back to you. Okay, let's leave it at that. Take care.